The end of Burger's End. After Grimley's inglorious end, the insidious evil's army had gone through the mines of Steelsmith to escape Thanos' armies and his wrath. The old shafts brought them close to the busy town of Burger's End. Alia and the all-devouring evil's army had left the mines of Steelsmith behind them, far from Thanos and his henchmen. The tunnels brought them close to the city Burger's End in the Empire's hinterland. Burger's End was known for its voracious heroes. More specifically, their appetites were legend... Wait for it. Dairy. They ate so much that the city had to be supplied with food from the surrounding area on a daily basis. True story. <laughs> These gluttons are going to be easy. Onwards, creatures of the deviant evil! Give these gourmands their just desserts! This hasty attack wasn't the best idea as the what is cannon fodder for evil's creatures all too quickly found out. These well-fed warriors proved to be exceedingly powerful and dismembered the advancing horde with terrifying speed. Mm, that could have gone better. Naturally, a battle like that can work up an appetite. Luckily, a transport full of food showed up shortly after the clash. The wheels quickly turned in the deceitful evil's evil brain. What if those deliveries were to have an accident on their way to the city, and the city suddenly ran out of food? It giggled a treacherous little giggle. Those wood piles could be used as a roadblock if they were put into motion with a few hefty blows. That would make transporting that food even more difficult. Okay, then we'll starve the pigs out. A brilliant plan. Do we have to do this? I feel so bad about killing Grimly. Ugh. I'm surprised. I thought that evil act would finally extinguish the good part of me. I guess I'll just have to put up with you for a while longer. These schizophrenic monologues are really annoying. They prevent me from saying so much more. Not the worst thing when I look at the reviews of the last game. What? How dare you? Talk about cheeky. You haven't heard the last of this. In its boundless genius, the prudent evil had provided Tanya with a few gobberbots whose combat strength would prove extremely useful. They were just, um, wait a minute, where are they? Yes, they were supposed to be delivered yesterday, but the postman just left a note at the dungeon entrance saying that I wasn't home. I was here the whole time. Oh, how I'd love to work with professionals. Just once, professionals, just once. Take a deep breath. Remember what they taught you. You don't want any more of those electric shocks. <sighs> Fine. Fine. And so, the bad-tempered evil quickly threw two gobberbots into the dungeon. Then it went out to find that postman and beat the living crap out of him. No one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. Hasta la vista, baby. Ugh. 
Payday. Meanwhile, even the gluttonous heroes of Burger's End had noticed the constant rhythmic thumping sounds coming from underground between chews, and sent scouts and combat troops out towards the dungeon. Ah, these stuffed pigs will be a piece of cake. We could also deal with them peacefully, couldn't we? That was a noble thought from the good Tanya. But the heroes of Burger's End were not choosy about what they ate, and dark elf fingers were considered a delicacy. Oh, disgusting! Right, let's roast these pigs. Oh, good call. Enemies have entered the dungeon.
you desire? Collecting evil had, um, well, collected evil. Damned adjectives, whatever. It soon had the chance to research Gobobot, enabling it to recruit them itself in future. This extremely useful research would equip all normal goblins with a mech, greatly increasing their combat strength. The first food delivery set out for Burger's End. Of course, the well-prepared and not at all surprised evil would never let it arrive at its destination. Time to take out the trash. Food delivery will never reach those gluttonous pigs in Burger's End now. <laughs> Finally, we should send out a couple of creatures to take advantage of those blockades. Get up. There are enemies in your dungeon. The ambush planning evil had taken advantage of the blockades and thereby significantly restricted the food deliveries to Burger's End. That should make starving the city out child's play. Excellent! Let's hit the greedy bastards right where it hurts most. In the gonads? In their stomachs! Thank <laughs> you. 
It's payday. There are enemies in your dungeon. Delivery on the way? Right. Let's take care of it. evil had destroyed the food delivery before it even got close to Burger's End. Oh, apparently a couple of heroes got lucky and caught a couple of goblins away from their gobo bots on a pee break. You should free them as quickly as possible. There are enemies in your dungeon. The beer brewing evil could now build a brewery. Alcohol and heavily armed evil creatures. What well, could go wrong? But apart from that, the brewery was able to brew delicious beer, which the horde creatures craved. Beer was essential for the horde, as these stubborn creatures demanded the delicious beverage as soon as they acquired a certain amount of experience and wanted to continue their training beyond a given stage. Actually, that kind of reminds me of my time in the army.
A brewery now twinkled and sparkled in the alcohol-dependent evil's dungeon. Yet before that noble drop could be produced for the horde, a brewing kettle would first need to be erected. Payday. The first brewery was now ready to roll. Soon, a creature of the horde, or a little snot, would here begin to produce the noble brew. Not only was beer essential for powerful horde creatures, it also had a healing effect upon them. Ah, if only that would work for me. Anything that increases the troops' combat strength is great. Go, creatures! Get yourselves drunk! A delivery carrying a variety of culinary delights was on its way to Burger's End. How sad that it would never reach its goal. <laughs>
The destructive evil had destroyed the food delivery before it even got close to Burger's end. Enemies have entered the dungeon. And still these goblins waited to be freed by the completely ignoring them evil. Naturally, it immediately sprang into action.
again, a number of food deliveries were on their way to Burger's End. Naturally, these would never, ever reach their destination. Oh, that is good. What? One of the deliveries to Burger's End met an inglorious end. The now in a triumphant mood evil had destroyed all the food supplies before they reached Burger's End.
I am. The aimless evil continued to allow the goblins to rot in their prison. Maybe they didn't deserve it, but just the same, they could also prove to be useful soldiers. deliveries carrying a variety of culinary delights were on their way to Burger's End. How sad that they would never reach their destination. <laughs> One of the deliveries to Burger's End met an inglorious end. The insidious evil had intercepted all the food transports. Flawless work. Thanos's head.
There are enemies in your dungeon. Command me! Scouts report a number of deliveries on their way to Burger's End. Okay, creatures? Don't let anything through! The destructive evil's armies had destroyed one of the deliveries.
the destructive evil's armies had destroyed one of the deliveries. And still these goblins waited to be freed by the completely ignoring them evil. Naturally, it immediately sprang into action. The insidious evil had intercepted all the food transports. Flawless work. A satisfying crash and clatter heralded the unapproachable evil's army's destruction of the pixies. A wonderful thing, because the sound of their wings reminded me of the mosquitoes that attack me in bed at night, damn things. Oh, I'm sure we could have come to a peaceful agreement. Peaceful agreement? With something that sounds like a mosquito? Trust me, there's no room for peace there. Only total war. Even when you search every crack in the whole damn bedroom at two in the morning for the stupid things. There are enemies in your dungeon. What do you want me to do? Give your orders. Payday. Command me.
Time to take out the trash. report a number of deliveries on their way to Burger's End. Okay, creatures? Don't let anything through. What can I do for you? A delivery to Burgess End spontaneously burst into flame. Well, okay, actually more because the grandiose evil creatures set it on fire. Evil's armies had destroyed one of the deliveries. Burger's end was doomed. The feasting Evil's armies had laid low the last of the defenders and now rampaged through the city, plundering and burning as they went. Wonderful! <laughs> Let them burn! Uh, okay, somehow that was extremely evil. I mean, I haven't forgotten that bit about the Dark Elf fingers, but. Maybe we could have gone about things differently? Ah, just shut up and look at the fire! Talia sat and surveyed the heartwarming scene. Every now and then one could still hear some screaming in the distance, but they soon ebbed, and there was no sound except the crackling of the fire. Well, aside from the roaring of the vile evil's creatures, of course. Once the plundering and arson had gone on long enough, the hinterland-conquering evil's army marched on. 